Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday morning. I'm heading on in. Uh, typical day today, I guess. Uh, girls are out of school. They're going to go to Lee's school with her today. Uh, we'll see how long this lasts. <laughs> this, this, it's going to get interesting. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, typical day for me. I got to finish a website. Well, w continue working on a website. I am not going to finish it today. Uh, normal day. Uh, one thing I want you to watch, I'm going to try to do, hopefully it works in this video, is the gypsy moth caterpillars have decimated the trees in this area. I am going to try to do a split screen of going down this road near my house with video from two weeks ago to today. Look at the difference in the foliage in the trees, how much they've destroyed these trees. Uh, I'm just hoping that they, the trees are able to come back, but... But, all right, uh, just hopefully it works. <laughs> uh, I am heading in. I will show you anything I can. I'll get with you throughout the day, like I do every day. Dash cam. Way out of focus. What the heck is going on? There we go. Hey everyone, down in the truck right now, heading home. It is a gorgeous day out. It's about 80 degrees out. Cannot ask any better. Uh, low humidity, very low wind. Uh, not sure what I'm doing when I get home tonight, but I'll find something to do. Maybe I'll go down and take some drone shots of the truck. Uh, still working on the video uh, for the update on the truck. So maybe when I get home, get some inside shots too. Maybe pull out the big boy camera and uh, start using that. So we'll see. See what I have time for. Like I said, I'm not sure what Lee has in plan. She had the girls at school, at her school today. Uh, I guess they were teaching the class for her. So see how that worked out. Uh, so I'm heading home. Not sure what the traffic's going to be like uh, when I get on there. Uh, trying something new here. Going to use two uh, dash cams. One in front, one in back. See how that works. So I will show you right after this dash cam.
Hey everyone, sorry, forgot to do a closing the video last night, so here it is. Uh, just showed you a little bit of what the damage that the caterpillars are doing right now. It looks as though, sorry, itchy nose, looks as though they're, it's starting to slow down now. They're starting to form cocoons, so that means they got to stop eating the leaves. Uh, different things that I've read said that it, part of the reason why there's such an explosion in them is um the caterpillars is what i'm saying is there's a fungus that actually helps to control the caterpillars with it being such a dry spring the fungus wasn't able to grow so that's why the caterpillars are exploding last spring was dry also so that the, that's one of the reasons so hopefully this um fungus comes back next year we have a wet spring uh only problem with the wet spring then you get more mosquitoes so it's it's a balance off i i think at this point right now i'd take the mosquitoes uh it's it's bad it's bad where i am right now uh the video really you don't see how bad the trees are uh maybe i'll put the try to get the drone up in the air and try to get it from a bird's eye view so you can see it, it actually it looks like it's the beginning of april where the trees are just starting to bud uh in some spots there are no leaves on the trees uh, so hopefully they die off next year found a couple of hints on how to control them next year one of the things we got to do is if we see eggs or if we see the mosses to kill them uh put soap on the eggs or to burn them burn at your own risk uh be smart with it don't set any trees on fire don't set any houses on fire but uh, that's one of the ways to get rid of them uh kill the moths if you see them uh, this uh, male and female, the females are um, white moths, they, they are not able to fly, so they'll be on trees and on structures. Uh, the males are uh, tannish brown with like cur uh, curved black lines on them. Uh, both will have feathered antennas, so if you see them, kill them. Uh, it's the only way to control it. Uh, come to find out the reason why we have the gypsy moths, or the problems with the gypsy moths, is from the 1800s. Uh, I guess it was a scientist or something brought them over from England or from Europe and they were going to use them as a cheaper form of silk uh, I believe they said it was in Cambridge Massachusetts well storm came through destroyed the enclosure that these caterpillars were in and they escaped out into the wild and they're an evasive species there's not much out there that kills them uh, animals won't eat them because the fur on them it makes them sick so birds and other animals stay away from for the most part uh other um so they spread and it, it's all the way from maine up into canada all the way out to ohio all the way down to south carolina they affect uh two years ago there was an infestation down in the mid-atlantic state mid-atlantic state so but um so there's a couple of different things i'll try to touch on um, my next videos on how to control them for next year and what to do next spring to prevent them from getting up in the trees uh so that's it so i'm gonna end the video here thanks for watching uh, i appreciate it um you can follow me on facebook subscribe below you can subscribe to my twitter feed subscribe below you can go to my website, which is markplant.com, or you could subscribe below. <laughs> Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you again tomorrow.